O, oh, di ba? Halatang mahal na mahal ko yung sarili ko, no? Nag-alis pa ako. Di ba, bongga? I love you, Sasha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back again with another vlog today. I just share ko lang yung self love process ko during this quarantine, and I hope so na may matutunan kayo. I guarantee you na feeling ko matatamaan karin sa mga tumama sa akin mga wordings. So ayon, ito compare ko lang yung dating ako compared sa ngayon na love ko na yung self love. So sa mga nagstruggle jan na mahalin yung kanilang mga sarili. This vlog is for you guys. So, ayun na. Let's start na. Hey, I just wanna share this thought of mine na isa sa dahilan kung paano ko na-develop yung self-love. Which is very important. You know, when you love yourself, you won't need unhealthy validation. Yes. Because nowadays, teens seek for validations. In many, many ways. Mapag-usapan na gila ko this vlog too. You know, when you love yourself, you won't need unhealthy validation to anything or anyone anymore. Kasi, you're happy alone or you are contented alone. Simula nung Operation Self-Love Quarantine ko, I've noticed it na it is effect. So, let's go sa mga factor. First factor. Noon, pag-board ako, nag-i-install ako ng dating app. You know what? Of course! For validation. Or, I would chat random people on my messenger. Hindi ko naman nakakausap dahil. Or, nireplyan ko yung mga message sa spam message. Tapos, worse. Kunwari, nagkagang chat ako sa mga past flings, past enemies, past kalandian ko. Like, that's the dumbest idea to get validation. See? It's very unhealthy. And you know what? While doing those things, doon pa lang nagpapakita na na wala akong self-love. Siyempre, nakakahiya. Also, respeto mo sa sarili. Hindi ba't yung nawawala. But now, it's a good news. Because self-love operation here. But now, I would make that boredness be progress. Nag-workout ako. Nag-write ako ng thoughts like paano nagsimula itong vlog na to. Nag-do-draw. Nag-edit ng photography and vlogs. Or nag-banding with my nieces. Nagluluto ng merienda. Nag-makeup. Ay, ang dami-dami pang pwedeng gawin, guys. At isa pa, sobrang nakatulong yung podcast na pinapakinggan ko ngayon. Which is sa Boiling Water. Factor 2. Noon, when I posted my picture, Or story. I would very disappointed pag konti lang yung likes and views. Kada minuto, chinecheck ko yung mga nag-views. Kung di no ba ng crush ko, feeling ko ang ganda-ganda ko na feeling ko pinansin na niya ako. Ganon. Eh, gino lang naman. Alam ko marami rin nagagalit. Sa so, mga nag-share ng meme without reacting first. So again, but now. But now, I would post my pictures for memories na For memories to look back. I don't mind how it glows or not. I don't mind how many likes are there. I wouldn't mind kung madami bang natuwa or wala. And girl, always remember, you are beautiful kahit konti lang yung likes and views ng my stories and pictures mo, Facebook or whatsoever, or kahit saang mga social media. You are beautiful. You don't need those validations. You don't need those likes to prove it. You are beautiful. Believe it. You don't really need likes to validate how beautiful you are. Likewise, if you're a man, or no matter what your gender, it applies to all. Third factor, I'm doing something not for myself, but for others to see. Like, my mind, no, I will do this para makita nila na I am worthy their respect. Which is very wrong! That's so wrong. I pity myself to think that I have to do it with that kind of mindset. But now, I'm doing things because it is just what I feel to do. I'm doing it because it's my responsibility. I'm doing it because I can. I'm doing it because I want it. Nothing for Factor number for hanap ng hanap ng lalaki or should I say jowang jowa. Parang pag inapproach lang ng isang lalaki, kikipaglanti na agad. Sabihan lang na maganda. Kilig na kilig na. Naplaplano lang ng future. Lubog na lubog na. Ine-entertain lahat ng dumating. Or dumadating. Pag umalis, masasaktan. Ganun lang yung cycle dati. In short, tangang marupok. Di lang marupok. Tangang tanga. I'm sorry if you're in a situation like But hey girls, never do. You can still get out sa face na yan. Alam mo, ako no. I thought kasi pag nawala na yung clean ko, I'm not worthy. That's why I would look immediate for another guy to make me feel worthy. Tapos, inisip ko pa, yung guy na nang iwan sa akin, magsisisi. But hey, wake up! Because it's not. Ganyan yung mga ninjang tao. Know your word. Hindi sila yung basayan kung gaano ka man kahalaga. Porque hindi ka na pinahalagan, hindi mo na rin mapapahalagan yung sarili mo. Take note. You are God's princess. God says, 
You are worthy. You know what? One of the biggest and greatest step towards self-love is to know God. To know your worth in and God. And to appreciate it and accept it. Kasi siya lang yung laging andyan. Iniwan mo na siya. Kailangan mo man siya. Andyan pa rin siya. You just need two mm -hmm. times na mafeel mo na unloved ka. Worthless and restless. Sa panahong we don't love ourselves, He is still love us. Saka without you knowing, He is worthy. Not even on things you expect. Na mag-work siya doon. You know what? God worked in different ways. He sent people that would comfort you. Yung mga taong hindi mo naman ka-close pero bigla-bigla kang hinaka. Yung mga taong parang imposible mong magiging ka-close pero naging ka-close mo. He also uses your friends. You know friend. when your friends hug you and you are relieved. It's not just your friend. God is hugging you through your friend. Paano ko nasabi? Kasi you know, palag palagi mo naman hinahug yung friend mo eh. Pero at that moment, so kaya kailangan mo ng comfort. Pero nung hinag ka ng friend mo, sobrang narilid ka. Pero that hug, so different. God also works through the strangers. So yung mga nag-uusap na no-overheard mo, pero sobrang sakto sa situation mo, hindi yung accident. God made you hear it. So yung four factors, may four lessons dun. Una, improve your talents or discover new talents. Pangalawa, Check your intention. Make sure na in yung intention mo sa isang bagay ay clean and clear. Pangatlo, stop that cycle. Hindi mo kailangan ng validation ng iba. Be happy alone. Pangapat, the very important one, know your worth in God. So that's all for my vlog. Thank you for watching. I hope na may natutunan kayo and may may apply rin kayo sa mga sarili nyo. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that notification bell kasi minsan na lang din po ako nag-upload ng videos ko para ma-notify kayo pag may bago na akong vlog. Bye-bye! Slay alone!